Persian guys. Hi. Hi. Today I want to talk to you guys about combating the modern day playboy. First things first, we have to define what this modern day playboy is or who they are. <laughs> One of the qualities could be they never follow through. They ask for nudes. They talk to you when it's convenient for them, never when it's convenient for you. Overall, the relationship is a major win for them, but very unfulfilling for you. When you ask him to define the relationship, he just won't do it. Privately, he says you're the best thing that he's ever had. Publicly, he don't even know you. Ladies, this just does not work. Now this one's a fun one. One day, he'll be all about you. Talk to his mom about you. Talk to his family about you. Talk to you every single day. Maybe he'll FaceTime you every single day. And then he goes to you for six months. And then he starts talking, 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 talking to you like nothing happened. Hmm, is this coming from personal experience? I don't know. Basically, if you need to ask if he's a modern day playboy, you're already kind of in some rough waters. Now, what I think is important that we need to do is to figure out how to fish these people out. One of the things that I've noticed in all of my experiences is that this type of person, every single time, avoids talking about the future. Anytime that the future comes up, they stay in the gray zone, which is the biggest cop out ever. Another quality I've noticed in these people is that they're not really consistent. So ask yourself if they are. Do they call you and text you consistently? Or do they ghost you for months at a time? Do they call you only on weekdays, but they aren't around on weekends? Do they only call you on their way home from work? but then after that they're MIA. Do they always have an excuse as to where they've been and why they haven't been in touch? Do they even address the gap in communication? Another way you can fish this person out, if you know someone who knows this person, use that resource. Now, I'm not saying go and Google stalk them and find their long lost sister or long lost cousin and <laughs> make a fake account and start messaging them. But I mean it in the most simplest terms that if you look on Instagram or on Facebook and you have even one mutual friend, consider whether contacting that mutual friend to ask their really discreet and trusted worthy advice as to whether this person is worth you talking to or not. I have been in situations where I wish I had done that. I think it would have saved me a lot of issues, but because I really wanted to keep the situation under wraps because of, you know, our culture, whatever, I did not do that and I honestly regret it. So do your research. I don't recommend putting it all out there on social media like, hey, if anybody's got some, you know, references on this person, send them my way. But, you know, do it with some tact, do it with seriousness, do it on someone that you're seriously considering. You could find out a lot of information about them. In this situation, had I just messaged the one mutual friend that we had, I would have found out everything I needed to know. But no, I had to go through it all myself. At the end of the day, you can't do a six foot background check on everybody, but just do your homework as best you can. Use your resources if you have them. If this is at all possible, notice how he treats you around other people. If he has a roommate, does he introduce you to his roommate? Supposedly, if you are on the phone together when the roommate walks in. If he lives at home, do his siblings know about you? Does his best friend know about you? Does his mom know about you? How does he manage including you and introducing you to the people that are closest to him in his life? Do his siblings add you on social media? Do his friends add you on social media? If you're talking to him in person, does he act like he knows you at all? Does he act like he doesn't know you in public but then texts you privately on the side like you guys are BFFs? Does he act like it's the first time he's meeting you every single time he meets you in public? Does he avoid situations in which you could get caught together? Another really important thing to remember is whenever you're in a situation where you could be doing something questionable or something that might compromise your values, does he encourage you to hold on to your values or does he encourage you to break them? Ladies, notice his behavior on social media. Are the pages he's following making you feel uncomfortable? This is all a personal question, but 
If you're uncomfortable with the type of photos that he's liking, pay attention to what he's liking. Are there girls commenting on his photos that are a little suspect? Don't ignore these signs especially if you already have a gut feeling. My advice in this situation is, if it happens, address it head on. Just ask the upfront question point blank. This brings me to the second part of our video where I wanna talk about what exactly you can ask these supposed questionable modern day playboys. Number one, what are you looking for in a relationship? Him answering anything deviating from a clear answer is something that you need him to get to expand on. I get everyone's hesitancy for wanting to avoid this question. I think we've been taught to avoid this question, but ask yourself, why are you avoiding it? You're worried he'll leave you, so what? Also, what are we afraid of? That he'll get scared off? That he'll say he doesn't wanna to talk to you anymore? That he's done with you? So what? You need to remember that you're an amazing person. I challenge you to say thank you, Next, isn't it better that he gets scared off now than waiting till you're more committed in a relationship or in your emotions and then have to deal with the aftermath of that? A man getting scared off that you're asking his intentions with you is a sign that he has impure intentions. My eyes are so bad I can't even read my notes from back here. <laughs> Another really important question that I think needs to be asked point blank is what are your expectations physically? Sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll get a guy who's just really honest. Sometimes it'll be an answer that you're not comfortable with. If there's an answer that's outside of your comfort zone, you just saved yourself a lot of trouble. Just run. Again, if he's not clear with what his answer is, it's just something that you need to delve into more and get him to expand on his answer. Next question, when do you see yourself becoming exclusive with someone? This is a really important question, especially when you're dealing with someone that you met on a dating application or that is active on social media. Both of these kinds of avenues are great for meeting somebody. The one downside is that they lead to endless possibilities. And for someone who's not ready to settle down, there's not a whole lot of incentive to do so. These avenues, in my personal opinion, feed into the feeling of never being satisfied. If any of these questions that I just went over cannot be answered directly, you may have a problem. And there's only one solution. Now the last part of this video that I really feel like is the most important is the mindset. The mindset is key. You need to truly feel worthy of what you deserve. If you have insecurity issues, you are automatically prey to these sorts of playboy games. This does not come overnight. You need to do work to get yourself there to truly feel worthy of what you deserve. Stop thinking that he needs to like you. Girl, you need to like him. When we can truly convert our mindset, it's so easy to see where our time, energy, emotions, and potential are being wasted. At the end of the day, don't be afraid to walk away. A guy or a girl may just need a wake-up call to realize that this is not the kind of behavior that you'll tolerate. By sticking around and making excuses, we condone this sort of behavior. I am at fault for this as well. Empower yourself enough to always remember that you don't need to tolerate this sort of behavior and what you're willing to tolerate. So all in all, I really feel like the mindset is the most important root of this huge tree that we're trying to get at. And I would love to see us all love ourselves more, empower ourselves, and get to the point where we know what we deserve and we don't settle for anything less than that. I love you all. I'm rooting for you all.